95% of nutrition research is not scientific. It's actually a survey, and that's called epidemiology. And then you get a hypothesis at the end of an epidemiological study. And they do some math with these uh, results, and they end up with a number, and that's called the hazard ratio. We're gonna go over various hazard ratios to find out what might potentially cause heart disease. Anything above 1.0 indicates that this cause, potential cause, does cause heart disease. Anything below 1.0 means that the potential cause is actually protective against heart disease. The first one here, type 2 diabetes, the hazard ratio is 10.2. That's very high. And you can assume in this uh, epidemiological study that type 2 diabetes causes heart disease. The next one is insulin resistance at 6.4. And metabolic syndrome, which is very much related to insulin resistance at 6.0. Hypertension is at 4.5. Obesity is at 4.3. All of these, you can assume that they cause heart disease. And what causes these conditions? Sugar intake, especially fructose. High fructose corn syrup, junk food, processed food. Sugar, sugar, sugar is the main cause of heart disease. Next, we have smoking at 3.9. And then way here, down here at the bottom is LDL. Every cardiologist will harp on LDL and give you drugs for it, but that is barely a cause because it's only at 1.6 hazard ratio. We need it to really be above 3.0 in order to be significant and to, then to pass it on to a clinical trial to find out if it's factual or not. So the bottom line is with heart disease, the problems are sugar, 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 and then smoking in that order. So get off sugar.